हेलो एवरी वन टूडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट फंक्शन ऑफ रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम हैज रेस्पिरेटरी एज वेल एज नॉन रेस्पिरेटरी फंक्शन स्टार्टिंग विद द रेस्पिरेटरी फंक्शन फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट रेस्पिरेटरी फंक्शन दैट इज एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेज बिटवीन एटमोसफियर एंड बॉडी सेल विच इंक्लूड्स थ्री प्रोसेस पलमिनरी वेंटिलेशन पलमिनरी डिफ्यूजन एंड ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ गैसेज बिटवीन ब्लड एंड बॉडी सेल्स पलमिनरी वेंटिलेशन that is exchange of gases between atmosphere and lung alveoli second pulmonary diffusion that is transport of gases between alveoli and blood and third that is transport of gases between blood and body cells second respiratory function that is warming humidification and filtration of air which is known as air conditioning <coughs> filtration function it prevents entry of foreign body from reaching the alveoli first and foremost that is filtration takes place in our hairs hairs at the entrance of nostril they are important for filtration function much more is removal of particles by turbulent precipitation now what is turbulent precipitation every time air which we inhale the air that we inhale hits one of the obstruction and this obstruction in the nose they are concha you can see here superior middle and inferior concha or turbinates are there and it must change its direction the particle suspended in the air having more mass and momentum than air cannot change their direction of travel as rapidly as the air can and this particles let us repeat the particles which are suspended in the air they can have they cannot change their momentum why because they have more mass so this particles they are entrapped in the mucus coating and they are transported by cilia to the pharynx and then they are swallowed now particles more than 6 micrometer in diameter this particles they are removed by our nasal turbulence mechanism next is particles 1 to 6 micrometer in diameter they are settled in the small bronchioles and this settlement is because of gravitational part precipitation for example terminal bronchiolar disease is common in coal miners because of this dust particles which are settled in the terminal bronchioles this particles they initiate bronchoconstriction and they are removed by coughing and ciliary escalator action third mechanism is particles less than 1 micrometer in diameter they reaches they reach alveoli and they are ingested by macrophages many particles smaller than 0.5 micrometer in diameter they remain suspended in the alveolar air and they are expelled by expiration so this is about respiratory function of respiratory tract second is non respiratory functions non respiratory functions are enumerated as number 1 functions of lung defense mechanism second functions of pulmonary circulation third functions of respiratory muscles fourth metabolic function five that is phonation six that is acid base balance starting with first one functions of lung defense mechanism immunoglobulin a they are present in the bronchial secretion and they protect against respiratory tract infection second mechanism is ciliary escalator action that is important defense against air borne infection why because dust particles they are often laden with bacteria this dust particles they are, they are caught in the mucus layer present at the mucosal surface of respiratory passage and moved up towards the pharynx by upward beating action of the cilia and then they are swallowed now you can see here cilia of smokers and non smokers smokers cilia or smoking disturbs ciliary escalator action and this is the reason why there are high incidences of respiratory tract infections in smokers than non smokers genetic disease cardagner syndrome the patients they have ciliary motility which is congenitally absent due to absence of axonemal dynein as well as atps and 
along with absence of ciliary motility it is also associated with infertility and lack of sperm motility also so lung defense functions first that is immunoglobulin a second one ciliary escalator action third one that is pulmonary alveolar macrophages they play an important role in the defense action by following mechanisms first mechanism that is ingestion of inhaled bacteria as well as small particles by phagocytosis and they are carried away by lung lymphatics second it ha they help in processing or digestion of inhaled particles and they release the digestive products into the lymph if the particle is not digestible the macrophages play an important role and they form a giant cell capsule around the particles till it is slowly dissolved for example in tuberculosis tuberculosis bacilli and in silicosis silica dust particles as well as carbon particles sometimes excess particles they can cause growth of the fibrous tissue in the alveolar septa and because of the growth of fibrous tissue that is permanent disability may be produced also macrophages they secrete substances which attract which attract polymorphonuclear cells to the lungs macrophages they stimulate granulocytes and monocytes formation in bone marrow so these are macrophages are third defensive mechanism in the lungs fourth one that is cough reflex various irritant receptors they are present in the larynx also in the trachea and bronchial mucous membrane stimulation of this receptors either by mechanical or chemical stimuli stimulates cough reflex and help in expulsion of the foreign particles so this are lung defense function let us enumerate first is immunoglobulin a second ciliary escalator action third pulmonary alveolar macrophages and fourth that is cough reflex now second function second non respiratory function that is function of pulmonary circulation functions of pulmonary circulation they are first and foremost that is pulmonary circulation acts as a reservoir of the left ventricle how when left ventricular output becomes transiently greater than the venous return systemic venous return the blood stored in the pulmonary circulation helps to maintain left ventricular output for few strokes only second function that is the function of pulmonary circulation which acts as a filter and it filters blood clot detached cancer cells fat cells gas bubbles agglutinated rbcs masses of platelets and debris from the stored blood third function of pulmonary circulation that is removal of fluid from alveoli pulmonary hydrostatic pressure is low therefore fluid entering in the alveoli is absorbed by capillaries and keep the alveolar surface free from the fluid it protects gas exchange function of the lungs and opposes transudation of fluid from capillaries to the alveoli so there is no transudation of fluid from capillaries to the alveoli instead there is removal of the fluid fourth function of pulmonary circulation that is role in the absorption of drug certain drugs can rapidly pass through alveolar capillary barrier by diffusion when they are administered by inhalation for example anesthetic drugs aerosols and other bronchodilators so these are our functions of pulmonary circulation let us repeat one that is reservoir of left ventricle second that is function as a filter pulmonary circulation acts as a filter third that is removal of fluid from alveoli and fourth it plays an important role in the absorption of drugs third non respiratory function of respiratory system that is function of respiratory muscles respiratory muscles they are also used during laughing and singing fourth non respiratory function of respiratory system that is metabolic function metabolic function first metabolic function that is secretion of surfactant surfactant is secreted by type 2 alveolar epithelial cells and functions of surfactant they are it decreases tendency of alveoli to collapse 
it decreases work of breathing it prevents pulmonary edema and it causes stability of alveoli all these functions will discuss in detail along with the discussion of surfactant second metabolic function of respiratory system here you can see these are type 2 alveolar epithelial cells and they secrete surfactant again you can see these are surfactant secreting cells they help the surfactant helps to prevent collapse of alveoli here alveoli with surfactant and without surfactant second metabolic function is conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 by angiotensin converting enzyme which is present on the surface of pulmonary capillary endothelial cells third metabolic function that is metabolism of serotonin that takes place in the endothelial cells after it gets internalized into the cell fourth one that is inactivation of certain vasoactive substances like bradykinin serotonin prostaglandins norepinephrine and acetylcholine fibrinolytic mechanism lysis of clot that takes place in the pulmonary vessels storage of hormones and biologically active peptides it is done in the apud cells amine precursor uptake and decarboxylation cells and the nerve fibers present in the alveoli of lung the substances which are stored they are vasoactive intestinal peptide substance p opioid peptides cholecystokinin pancreatozymin and somatostatin synthesis storage and release of certain substances which include prostaglandins histamine and calicrine so these are metabolic functions let us repeat first that is secretion of surfactant conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 metabolism of serotonin inactivation of vasoactive substances fibrinolytic mechanism storage of hormones and biologically active peptide and synthesis storage and release of the substances fifth non respiratory function of respiratory system that is phonation and vocalization peripheral speech is composed of phonation by larynx and articulation by structures of mouth phonation during the process of phonation vocal cords they move together and passage of air between the vocal cords they cause vibration changes in the shape and mass of vocal cord edge changes the pitch of sound so vocal cord vo or vocal fold movement is required for phonation second is articulation and resonance mouth nose nasal sinuses pharynx and chest cavity they are resonators and they change the voice quality for example suppose when we are suffering from common cold which blocks our air passages air passages to the reson resonators and because of that there is change in the voice quality so this is our fifth non respiratory function of respiratory system sixth one that is acid base balance respiratory system helps in maintaining acid base balance by expiring carbon dioxide there are chemoreceptors that sense level of carbon dioxide and h plus ions in the blood and they change the rate and depth of respiration and this change in the rate and depth of respiration is regulated by centers in the nervous system so here we are ending all the functions of respiratory system let us repeat the functions let us enumerate respiratory functions they are one is external respiration pulmonary ventilation pulmonary diffusion and transport of gases and second that is warming humidification and filtration of air known as air conditioning so these are respiratory functions non respiratory functions are number one functions of lung defense which includes immunoglobulin a ciliary escalator action action of pulmonary alveolar macrophages and cough reflex second function of pulmonary circulation which includes reservoir for left ventricle pulmonary circulation acts as a filter removal of fluid from alveoli and also role in the absorption of drugs third non respiratory function that is function of respiratory muscles fourth non respiratory function metabolic function secretion of surfactant conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 metabolism of serotonin inactivation of vasoactive substances fibrinolytic mechanism 
storage of hormones and biologically active peptides and synthesis storage and release of substances fifth non respiratory function that is vocalization and phonation and sixth one that is acid base balance okay that's it thank you all for listening me